A lot of times we have people talk to us about housing, and I think uh, under the uh, units of the section of the uh, Section Eight program, uh, how many units do we actually have in that project? Mission of Broadwater, we have over 2,300. 2,300. And Section Eight program in the city of Garden Grove, city of Santa Ana and Anaheim, and I believe. The rest of the cities, 31 cities, belongs to the Orange County Housing Authority, to the county. Okay. Well, what's the total amount of money that, that, that we passes through our hands on this? Our annual budget is approximately $30 million a year, and I would say more than 90% of that goes to the owners. <laughs> Council Member Beard? Here. Council Member Broadwater? Here. Council Member Wynn? Here. Mayor Pro Kim Jones? Here. Mayor Dalton? Here. We'll have the invocation by Charles Khalil, Information Technology Director, and the Pledge of Allegiance by uh, Councilman Beard. Lord, as we meet today to conduct matters concerning our community, we humbly ask that you guide our hearts and our minds in the spirit of fairness, right thought, and speech. Lord, we ask that you impart your supreme wisdom upon our activities so that our affairs may reach a successful conclusion and that you're willing to Thank you for being our source of guidance today. Amen. 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 Exciting. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about why I'm here and the reason why it's important uh, and actually our appreciation from OCTA to your council and to your staff. Um, as you are aware, Mayor, you serve with myself and also Mayor Miguel Polito from Santa Ana. We are all three on the OCTA Board of Directors representing the First District. I am pleased tonight to present a proclamation to the City of Garden Grove for its leadership in partnering with OCTA to deliver the transportation improvement promised to the voters in Measure M. myself somewhat of an expert on Twin Lakes Park, having watched it for all these years. Good evening, Mayor Dahl, members of the council, city staff. Uh, tonight I'm returning again to speak to you about the Hashtag Retention Basin Project, um, scheduled to completely destroy the community gym that we know as Twin Lakes Freedom Park. Reset the clock, please. I'm speaking to you, I'm afraid I also object to the, the project that has been proposed to us. 
uh, as the local residents. So I'm asking to see what we could do um, because it's not anything to do with medical. Good evening, everyone, and I want to start out with some very cheerfully little things up here. Um, basically, last Monday, I was at the House Beautiful Awards, and my, the house I, my group chooses never wins, but that's okay. Good evening, Mayor Danton and member of the City Council. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate to let my friends, Mr. Crisper, on his appointment. We served together on the planning commission, and I find him to be very dedicated and committed to helping the business community and very fair in his decision. It's a very well-deserved appointment. I would like to begin by saying I sincerely regret having to use this forum to address this troubling issue. It's not easy for me, but I feel I must and I should, since I was unfairly accused publicly. Castle, uh, Castle Woman Dina Nguyen fabricated a statement during the hearing to appoint a new member to fill the vacant seat left by Councilman Andrew Doe two weeks ago. In her exact words, I have said, if she doesn't vote for me, the Vietnamese community will look badly upon her. It is absolutely untrue, and the fabricated statement is hurtful and damaging. At this point, I would like to interject here and note that I would like to submit two letters from other businessmen who are at the table that night. They attest that they did not hear me saying that statement at all. I understand that this tactics of manipulating the truth is only part of politics. But as a representative of the people, I highly recommend that Council Woman Dina Nguyen choose her work more carefully in the future to avoid inflicting unnecessary harm and conflicts and to set better example as a community leaders. I am not a politician and I may be naive in many aspects of the political arena but I strongly believe that as a representative of the people, you should process good ethics and a sincere desire to work with others and for the benefit of others. I also would like to express that I do not appreciate the Nam Nguyen husband contacting me yesterday to discourage me from speaking to the press. I am here today not to dispute how you voted or why you voted the way you did. I'm here to make it clear that the accusation is untrue and I hope that in the future we will choose our work more cautiously and positively. As a community leader, your words have great impact and you should want to use that in a positive way. Thank you, Mayor and member of the council. Thank you. Trina Wynn. Good evening, Mr. Dawson and the council member. Uh, Mr. Gary is not busy tonight, and he asked me to be in to be here to receive letter to the council. Mayor Dalton and member of the city council. My name is Gary Tang. CEO and President of Westminster Press Incorporation, a commercial printing business located on 4906 First Street, Santa Ana for over 25 years. Throughout the years, I have been a major advocate, a supporter for the political 
uh, local politi politics and supported for uh, many political candidates, people of own race and color and background. I have known Mr. Fab Boy for 10 years, personally as well as uh, professional, and I'm proud to say that he and I became a good friend and dear friend. I truly value our friendship. With hard work, Fab has become a very successful businessman with great family value. He has impeccable reputation in our community and had known for his generosity and charitable spirit. I have found out that the city of Guadalupe is considering appointing a new member to the council. And Fat Boy expressed his desire to serve at the council. I became very excited and eager to support him with his new endeavor. At my suggestion, I immediately contact Councilman Woman Dina Nguyen and set up a dinner meeting so Fabu could, could have the opportunity to share with her some of his experiment, experiences and qualifications and ask her for support on behalf of Fabu. She informed me that um, she will also invite uh, the Quadminster City Councilman and Quad to attend the dinner. Unfortunately, the restaurant was so noisy after attending a uh, pleasantry and not much were discussing about the upcoming appointment for the city council. I sat between Andy Quad and Fatboy and directly across from the table from Dina Nguyen. Fatboy manner were pleasant and the exchanging of words were limited. I and the other businessmen at the table did not hear Mr. Boy said what Dina excused him of. During the dinner, I told the councilwoman when that Fatboy was the most qualif qualified candidate and he would be best suited to represent the community and the city of Garden Road. It is disturbing and shocking when one of the owners and the most dominant daily paper in our community printed the translated version of Vina Dina Nguyen, outrageous public accusation about Mr. Fatboy's statement. The excuse was untrue, uncalled for, and without merits. The Vietnamese people here in this land of liberty have a deep appreciation for the newfound freedom and the democracy, and we enthusiastic to get involved in every election. We, the Vietnamese, uh, the Vietnamese American, enjoy the peaceful and democratic election process that exists in the American culture and American way of life. I was truly happy to see the younger Vietnamese generation getting more and more involved in politics. Unfortunately, some of, uh, some of, uh, some they yield their political power and influence to alienate, divide, suppress those that uh, do not serve for further their personal and political agenda. It is detractive and irresponsible, and it discourages people with good intention from entering the political arena. It is very disappointing to see such public display of animosity, no matter what the reason may be. I feel to need to speak out today so the truth can be heard. I humbly suggest that and hope that though in public officer could not use any public forum to serve their own purpose and further their own agenda. I'm thankful the mayor, the city council, the council member for taking time to listen. Truthfully, yours. Okay, can you, are you done? Yes. Okay, because yes. you run out of time. I wanted to make it quick. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. All right, Paul.